You're welcome back. Many thanks for staying with us. Now, Joy News is learning that some staff of the Electoral Commission who triggered the dismissal of Madame Charlotte Tosse have also petitioned the Special Prosecutor, Martin Amidu, to investigate the former EC boss for causing financial loss to the state. According to the two leading petitioners, after submitting the petition uh, that caused Mrs. Tosse's removal, they have detected some criminal activities which must be investigated by the Special Prosecutor. My colleague, Kwesi Paka Wilson, joins me in the studio. He's got the sheet that's had, that has the details. He'll take us to it. Paka, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. By the, time, let me by the way, let me quickly find out from you. So there are two separate allegations here. The new ones they right. said they've discovered and the old ones which we perhaps know already mm. from the committee's report. Exactly. Take us through the fresh allegations that they're bringing against Madame Charles. Okay, so me. quickly, uh, Gifty, the fresh allegations. Now, the petitioners are saying that Mrs. Osei owns a private law firm, Prime Attorneys. The firm had a client called Aerovote Limited. Mrs. Osei at the time, when she was Electoral Commission Chair, and her firm, Prime Attorneys, communicated with and gave information about how to bid for printing contracts at the Electoral Commission to mm. Airvote Limited, which was not even a registered contractor of the Commission. That's what they said. Even saying. before the processes for okay. the bids were put together. So uh, eventually, Airvote was awarded the contracts. That is their okay. first claim. Again, they're saying that without recourse to the Commission, I mean, Mrs. Osei, and without seeking the approval of the Commissioners, requested a new office building for the Commission. Even though the commission was never given any proper land document transferring ownership or use of the building to the commission, mm. Mrs. Osei instructed the spending of almost about 4 million Ghana cities of the commission's money in internal partitioning of the building alone. Mm. And that they think is also amounts to uh, criminal activities or criminal conduct, and that okay. the one Martin Amidu to investigate. Okay. And you remember when she was appointed chair of the commission, mm -hmm. that was around uh, 2015, 30 June, mm -hmm. they are saying that at the time she was appointed the chair of the commission, she was still a board member of Ghana Reinsurance. Okay. Now, they communicated to the PRO of the company, and the PRO confirmed to them that Madame Charlotte Osei only resigned on the 5th of December 2015. So, since Clement, she was still a board member mm. of the company, which they believe that uh, uh, the Public Company Act clearly it contravenes that act. Mm. Did they state whether or not she was receiving salaries for... Well, they didn't state that. They, they, they didn't state, state that. But then okay. they are saying that the PR of the company mm -hmm. confirmed to them that she resigned on the 5th of December 2015. And okay. she was appointed on the 30th of June 2015. Again, they are saying... Mrs. Osei submitted an estimate of over 1 million Ghana cities for the renovation of the official bungalow for the chairperson without recourse to the commission or appropriate staff in the commission. Mm. And Mrs. Osei constituted herself into the commission's tender review committee. Contrary to the Public Procurement Act, she singularly chairs the entity tender committee and the tender review committee at the same time. This puts her into conflict of interest position and this is a clear breach of the Public Procurement Act. And finally, okay. they are saying that the South African company, Kwanzaa Limited, to which the Electoral Commission gave a contract without proper procedures, is owned by a relative of Mrs. Osei. So they want the special prosecutor, Martin mm. Amidou, to investigate these charges they detected after they submitted the first one that triggered her removal. Okay, let me just see if I can uh, summarize this for you quickly mm. before we go on to what they are reiterating, which happens to be in the committee uh, that investigated this matter's report as well, the committee that was put together by the Chief Justice. Now, they're saying that she's been leaking uh, bidding information to a law firm that belongs to hey, her, yeah. and th that law firm actually got the contract exactly. that they bidded for. Exactly. They're also alleging that uh, she asked for four million for internal partitioning mm. of the electoral commission, which without which she, going through the process, without going through the process, mm. which would happen. And then she, they're also alleging that she was still a board member of Ghana Reinsurance even when she became the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. Right. This was about six months. Exactly. She, she was still uh, there yeah. for six months. Mm. But what we don't know is whether or not she was receiving salaries Salary. for that mm. six months while she was Electoral Commission chairperson and while she was also uh, the board member. They're also citing her for conflict of interest when it, ca when it comes to the award of a contract for a South African company, which they're saying belongs to a relative. A relative. Exactly. Okay. So these are fresh charges or fresh allegations that some staff at the Electoral Commission are raising against uh, Madame Charlotte Osse. They want the special prosecutor to investigate this further. Because they believe but, that she has mm, caused financial loss to the state. Right. Mm. But then they go ahead to reiterate what 
what was contained in the report of the, the committee. committee report. Okay, yeah. take us through that briefly. Right, so uh, okay. clearly they are saying that the committee uh, said that uh, she engaged, Madam uh, Charlotte say, engaged the services of Sorry at Law, mm. um, barristers and solicitors without going through the procurement processes. Okay. And that such engagement was contrary to the Public Procurement Act. Mm. And that there is no formal contractual agreement between the commission and the law firm and the basis for computation of fees is unknown. Okay. And that we know from the committee's report. Again, okay. they are saying that the chairperson unilaterally abrogated a duly procured contract with an entity called Supertech Limited, as SDL, and awarded the said contract to the same entity without recourse to the commission and without undergoing the applicable procurement processes. Again, the issues of procurement right. breaches here. Right. And the chairperson unilaterally awarded a contract which was over and above the amount approved by the Public Procurement mm. Authority mm. without reverting to the Public Procurement mm. Authority. The chairperson awarded various contracts for the construction of prefabricated district offices without recourse to the commission and in excess of the threshold approved by the Public Procurement Authority. So it goes on and on and on and on. Mm. And finally, they're saying that the chairperson unilaterally awarded a contract in an amount of a $25,000 to a company named Kwanzaa Limited in breach of the public procurement law. And this company, we are told that uh, it belongs to a relative of Mrs. Charlotte Austin. That's the fresh allegations that they are bringing. Mm. Uh, so if you, you've been following this, two separate uh, issues here. There is what we already know from the uh, committee that investigated her report, and there is what they're bringing as fresh charges, as what they have now found out. Back yeah. up. Do we know who these people are? Of course, they are the, I mean, the leading petitioners, and uh, two of them mm. are actually the leading petitioners. The one, Forsen Ampofo, I'm mm. told that he works in the Kumase office, that is the Electoral Commission at Kumase. Okay. And Goswe Dajo is here in Accra at the headquarters. Uh, he's okay. also with the transport department. So they signed this petition, this new uh, charges, mm. or the petition to the special prosecutor. And okay. they wanted the special prosecutor to investigate to Madame Charlotte. Yeah. So let's, let, let's go through the names again. Yeah. Uh, Forsen and Ampofo, Ampofo, exactly. and then Goswe, Goswe Dajo. Uh, Dajo. Yeah. And, 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 and I'm re emphasizing this because previously there had been issues about who are the petitioners. And we, they, we kept going. And when I spoke to... Well, Chester, actually, there are 17, 17 right. petitioners. But these are... Yeah, these are the front runners, right? The two leading petitioners, they are 17 and all, but okay. then these are more like their leaders or their executives, mm. Mm. okay? What well, because and, and I'm saying this because the last time I spoke to Chach Chikata, for mm. example, mm. about the petition, he was saying that from a legal perspective, if you you can substantiate those who are behind the petition, right. then you can go ahead. Because if there are issues about those who petitioned it, then taking the substance of the matter on itself becomes problematic. But that's for another day. So these are the front runners. There are right. 17 of them. 17 of these them. two are the front runners. Exactly. and Ampofo and Goswe Dajo. And then they have signed know this. That they have, um, uh, they send the petition to right. the special prosecutor um, on Friday. And so we know that the special prosecutor has received the petition. Okay. They are awaiting response from the special prosecutor. All right. Well, so this is just information that's just coming in. You can only get it here on Joy News, obviously. And we've taken you through the petition, what they want, the new allegations that that's been brought against Madame Charlotte Osei, and uh, the reiteration of what already existed. Paka, thank you so much for taking us through there. Macaulay Kwesi, Paka Wilson there, bringing us the details in that new petition. It is still a developing story. Certainly, our eyes are fixed on it. We'll bring you more as and when we have it.